Hi there, here's another vectors question. Um, it says relative to fixed origin, the line L has the following equation. So here's the equation of the line. Here's the point on the line, and here's the direction of the line. Okay? So, where P and Q are constants, so what we don't know, we don't know this P, and we don't know this Q. Given that point A with coordinates negative 5, 9, negative line lies on the line, find the value of P or Q, show that the point B with these coordinates also lies on the line, and then we're going to do some work on another point C. Okay, let's break the question off. Let's start at the start. Now, it's easier for part A to write this vector equation of the line in column form. Namely, R okay, is going to be equal to 1 plus 3 lambda, P subtract lambda, and negative 5 plus Q lambda. Okay? And given that A uh, is on the line, we know that this must be equal to some value of lambda. It must be equal to negative 5, 9, and negative 9. Okay? And let's deduce what we can, let's write three equations we can write down from that. Therefore, we know that 1 plus 3 lambda is equal to negative 5. We also know that P subtract lambda is equal to 9. And we also know that negative 5 plus Q lambda is equal to negative 9. We have equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. Okay, well, we can find each of these. Starting with 1, looking at 1, because I've only got one variable, from 1, we can say that lambda, take it, uh, subtracting one off both sides and dividing by 3, we can say that lambda is clearly equal to negative 2. And then you can put that into 2, so sub in 2, and you could therefore write that P subtract negative 2 is equal to 9, i.e. P plus 2 equals 9, so take 2 off from both sides, P must be equal to 7. And the last one, we can obviously sub lambda in there, so we can sub in 3, and we can sub our lambda in there, so negative 5, okay, our lambda is negative 2, take away 2q must be equal to negative 9, you can add 5 to both sides, so negative 2q is equal to negative 4, and divide by negative q, q uh, negative 2q is therefore equal to 2. So we have ourselves that lambda is equal to negative 2, p is equal to 7, and q is equal to 2. And we found the values of p and q. It says, show that the point b with coordinates 25, negative 1, and 11 also lies on the line. Well, p and q are fixed now. That p now we know is 7, and we know that q there is now 2. Lambda changes depending on the point of the line. So lambda is an unknown to us in, in part B. But we want to show that the point B with those coordinates lies on the line. So what we can do is we can... Uh, I'm going to rub out this here. And what I can do is I can make the vector equation of the line for part B equal to this and see what lambda makes it work. So I could write myself that 1 plus 3 lambda and then 7 subtract lambda and then negative 5 add 2 lambda. I want to find a lambda that makes that equal to 25, negative 1 and 11. Now clearly looking at this, uh, the, these two here I can spot the lambda immediately, and let's check it works for the other one. If I uh, make lambda be 8, then 7 take away 8 is negative 1. Is 1 plus 3 times 8 25? It is. Is negative 5 plus 2 times 8 uh, 11? Yes, it is. So I can say that lambda equals 8 uh, holds tr uh, makes this true. Makes this true. So... 25, negative 1, 11, lies on L. Okay? So, uh, let's do part uh, the next part then. So, we're told that point C lies on the line such that OC is perpendicular to L. 
it's probably time for a picture now. So let's draw ourselves our line. There's our line. It's L. And it's got equation, let's remember, 1 uh, plus 3 lambda. P was, I think it was 7 take away lambda. And this one here was negative 5 plus 2 lambda. That's the equation of our line there. And the point C lies on the line such as OC is perpendicular to the line. We'll see somewhere on the line. Here's our origin here. And C is some point on the line such that OC, the vector from the origin to C, is perpendicular to the line. Okay, find the coordinates of C. Well, C is on the line. So for some lambda, C has uh, the coordinates 1 plus 3 lambda, 7 subtract lambda, and negative 5 plus 2 lambda. And the position vector, the vector OC, is clearly this take away 0, 0, 0, which is just this there. So this is the position vector of C, and it is the vector OC. Now, this vector must be parallel to this, uh, must be perpendicular to this line. So if we dot this vector with the direction of the line, we must get zero. So if we, for part C, dot the direction OC, this vector, 1 plus 3 lambda, 7 subtract lambda, and negative 5 plus 2 lambda, with the direction of this line, which looking at it is this here, the direction of this line here is clearly 3, negative 1, and 2. So if we dot that with 3, negative 1, and 2, because they're perpendicular, we must get 0. So let's work this out. 3 times this would be 3 plus 9 lambda. Okay, and minus 1 plus this plus negative 7 plus lambda. And then plus 2 times this would be negative 10 plus 4 lambda, and that must be 0. Now let's collect like terms. How many lambdas do we have? 9 lambdas plus a lambda is 10 lambdas plus another 4 lambdas is 14 lambda. So we have 14 lambda. 3, positive 3, take away 7 is negative 4. And then take away uh, 10 is negative 14. So subtract 14 is equal to 0. This gives us add 14 to both sides and divide by 14. Lambda must be 1. Now ask for the coordinates of C, therefore we substitute lambda equals 1 into the equation of the line and we get ourselves, um, I would get 1 plus uh, 3 which is 4, point C is therefore 4, 7 take away 1 which is 6, and negative 5 plus 2 lambda which is equal to negative 3. And that then is clearly point C. Now it says find the ratio of A to C and C to B. Now let's go back to our previous question. Uh, A is negative 5, uh, 9, uh, negative 9. So A is, I don't know, over here somewhere. A is uh, negative 5, 9, negative 9. And B is 25, negative 1, 11. So B, it doesn't matter where it is. B is 25, negative 1 and 11 and they're both on the line and it asks us the ratio of AC to uh, CB. Now what we could do here is we could work out the distance between A and C. Remember C has coordinates 4, 6 and negative 3 and then we could work out the distance between C and B and work out the ratio. It's only two marks. There's a, there is actually a nice, neater way. Let's just uh, elaborate on the picture. Let's go back to point A and remind ourselves what was true at point A. At point A, we discovered that lambda was negative 2. It, it was in the previous work, and at point A, lambda was negative 2. So here, lambda is equal to negative 2. Now, at point B, we worked out that lambda is 8, so lambda is 8 over here. And at point C, we've just worked out that lambda is equal to 1. Okay, now let's just bear that in mind. I'm going to rub this out down here. I might even draw another picture. So here's, here's another picture, okay? 
nice neat picture. Imagine I've just have the straight line just going directly across like this. Okay. Now, at point A here, lambda is negative two. At point C here, lambda is equal to one. And at point B over here, lambda is equal to eight. Okay, and uh, at some point lambda is zero, this point is a point on the line. When lambda is zero, this is a point on the line. So this is one, what do we get for P? We got uh, for P, um, one, seven, negative five. So uh, there's a point over here, which is the point one, seven, negative five, and that's when lambda is equal to uh, zero. Okay, now there's the origin, and we know that line to that line is at right angle. Now let's just think about this. What is the uh, what is the ratio of a to c to c to b? Well, these this lambda is just telling us how many directions. So here, this direct the direction of the line is three negative one and q, which is two. And it's telling us from lambda is 1 to lambda is 8 to go 7 of those directions. But to go from here to here is telling us to go from negative 2 up to 1, which is actually 3 of those directions. So here we have 1, 2, 3 of the directions. Here we've got 7, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They should all be the same. So what's the ratio of these lines? Well, here we're going three of the directions, so it's three. And here we're going seven of the directions, so it's seven. So the ratio of A to C to C to B is actually three to seven because of that. Now, you could have worked out that distance. You could have worked out that distance and then um, done the ratios, but I think this was easier.